Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to talk about the Walter Scott shooting. For all those who don't know who Walter Scott is, Walter Scott is a black man from North Charleston, uh, Carolina, and he was shot by the police while running away. Now, this story has caught a lot of major uh, media news coverage over over the last few days. It ha actually happened last, last week, and I want to give you guys my opinion on it. So, I watched the video, and it's quite clear that the officer murdered the guy. It's not like he was reaching for anything. He, you know, he tasered him initially. And basically, you know, once he's ran away for whatever reason, he shot him about, you know, six, seven times in the back, running away. And then you can later see on in the video that, you know, he, the police officer walked over to where they had the initial confrontation and he threw the taser down. Now, at the beginning, like, this all started by, you know, it, 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 the guy wasn't a bank robber. He wasn't, you know, he didn't just go do a drive-by or something. No. He, you, know, you know why he initially um, uh, was, was stopped by the police? For a broken taillight. And then they ran his name and they found out that, you know, he had a, you know, worn out because he, he owed uh, money on child support. But for whatever reason, you know, a broken taillight or a warrant, those two things... Don't make it so that you can go kill someone. You know, the death penalty is only applied for very heinous crimes after, you know, the person has been found guilty in a court of their peers. And and the fact that this police officer just shot him and then, you know, acted as if it was self-defense is absurd. The police officer actually threw the taser by him. So, not only did the police officer know that the taser was still on him once he ran away... He, you know, the, he still shot him anyways. <laughs> I, I mean, this it, it's so fucking insane. And the guy was like 10, 20 feet away when, the, when he started shooting him. So, how was he a threat to you, man? But my question is, I mean, we all know that this police officer is guilty. But my question is, if that tape, if, if, if that bystander didn't record what happened, I bet you... People would uh, have different opinions uh, than they do now. I bet you that if that police officer wasn't caught on tape killing someone, I bet you people would be defending him wholeheartedly. Um, you know, there, there's there's some you know police shootings that you know I don't like. For instance, the Michael Brown shooting. I think that both people were in the wrong. Did he, did the guy deserve to die? No, but I think both people. You know, I'm not I, I'm not going to like you know go marching for. Either one of them, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm like, I just, with that case, I, I don't, I don't feel like people should make a movement out of uh, either one of them. But in the case of uh, uh, Eric Garner, the guy who got choked out by the police, you, that's clear fucking cut that you know he, you know he, uh, he, the, the police officer killed the guy. You're not supposed to apply chokeholds to a suspect. There's plenty of uh, things that police can do to subdue a target without choking them out. And obviously, when the guy had a panic attack, they should have realized that, oh, wow, he has, like, you know, uh, he, he, he has, like, asthma or whatever. And, you know, maybe they should have just, like, got off the guy, let him breathe, and then arrest him once he calms down. But you don't have to choke him out for, you know, a pack of cigarettes. And it's, and it's just, like, there's so many other police shootings that, you know, a lot of times, yeah, the police, they do have to shoot someone because they are a threat. But then there's other ones where, you know, I feel like they're wrong. And this is one of them. And one more thing I want to add in this video. Just yesterday, I was at this thing called uh, the Black Male Summit, which is like a, a, a youth leadership conference or whatever. And during that conference, you know, we have, like, let's say, speed mentoring from, like, you know, college students to, you know, at-risk uh, high schoolers. You know, kids who, you know, go to school in, or black kids who go to school in the inner city. And we, you know, mentor them for a day. And then we, you know, exchange contact information. So over the course of a year, you know, we can, you know, if they have issues, if they need help with, you know, filling out financial aid, whatever, going through the, you know, the hoops or whatever with uh, college admission, we can help them out. And if they just, if they're going through something hard, we, you know, they can call us to, you know, if they need someone to talk to. But, you know, and at this conference, we had a, a, a speaker come in, like a motivational speaker. And, you know, he was really good. He basically said that, you know, a lot of times the, the surrounding you're in, it's, uh, it, it can, um, you know, if, if you work hard, you can get yourself out of it. And, you know, a lot of times it's, it's, things aren't going to be easy, but, you know, it's just you have to, uh, you know, persevere or whatever and um, hope things get better or whatever. 
But basically, um, at the end of the little speech or whatever, the guy gave, uh, he gave the mic, or he opened the floor up for questions. And one of the questions that was asked was, what do you think about, you know, uh, the police and, you know, all the recent police shootings? And he gave some, I think, some really uh, good advice. And I want to share, share that with you guys right now. He basically said that if the police pull you over as a young black man, and I, and I, you know, I tell people that I mentor, I tell, you know, my cousins, whatever this, that the police pull you over, do, do, do more than what they ask you to do. You know what I'm saying? If, if like, like, like be courteous, be nice, you know, uh, like for instance, I got pulled over just recently for, uh, for, you know, expired place or whatever. It's the first time I, I would have had to renew them. Cause you know, it's the first time being a car owner and you know, it's what school just started up back then. I'm like, you know, so focused on classes. That's just, it sort of slipped my mind and they were a week expired police pulled me over I was nervous you know once he got to the car before he got to the car there I did a few things I did first I put my wallet my ID and my uh and my proof of insurance all on the dashboard and I turned on the car light because it was at night time I was driving to a, a school event and I, you know had all that stuff ready and I my hands were on the steering wheel and I said you know what, what did I do officer and he said well basically your place are expired and I you know I basically basically kissed his ass, you know what I'm saying? But you know, people could you know say what they wanna, but at the end of the day, I don't know how this guy's day was. I don't know, you know, if if he might be racist or whatever, or you know, I I don't know, you know. So I'm like I'm nervous because if 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 I make any sudden moves, he could possibly shoot me, and then you know my mom, my sister, my girlfriend would never see me again. So that's just some of the stuff that I have to think about. But I mean, in that in that certain situ you know uh, situation, whatever, the police officer was actually very cool. You know, he joked around with me and said, "Don't worry about it." You know, hey, everyone, you know, makes mistakes or whatever. I'm not even one because he could have gave me a two hundred dollar fine and impounded my car. And I and you know, there's there's I, I would say most police officers are good cops, but the thing is, with when it comes to uh, you know police or, or whatever, a lot of times when they have bad apples, they defend them. Not all police defend them, but. You know, if, if a police officer has numerous complaints of police brutality and, you know, doing things that are are not right, then you need to call that out as a as a as as, as you know, being his co-worker or whatever. You know, if I had a friend who or maybe a co-worker that I don't know, was constantly stealing stuff or something like that or you know messing stuff up on uh, you know on a, on a certain project uh when i get an engineering job or whatever or you know or he whatever whatever situation i would you know what i, I would as as a as a fellow you know co-worker i would say hey look could you stop doing that i want to report you to the boss and that and and but it just seems like when it comes to police and maybe other professions it's just not how it works you know it's just like once you know they have a bad apple they they close rank and they defend them you know and not everyone's perfect everyone makes mistakes but then there's sometimes where people they do things that are completely unacceptable and i think this cop is guilty of first degree murder no doubt in my mind because he also has a prior incident where he was actually um found not guilty but it just goes to show that he basically arrived at a house where there was like some sort of a uh, uh, you know, uh, a woman called and said that some person was, you know, harassing them or whatever. And I guess the, the woman's, uh, uh, boyfriend or whatever came out and said, Hey, you know, and then what's the, what he, he basically answered the door first and the police officer said, get, get out here. And then the woman who called said, Hey, that's not him. Let me show you what he looks like. But no, the police officer tasered him anyways. And after, you know, repeatedly saying that, hey, look, that's not him. He, he's a different person. See, this police officer, he just acts recklessly. And then, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's not a shock that he wound up killing someone. And he should be held accountable for his actions, no doubt in my mind. So, you know, I want to keep, you know, making, I'm, I'm, I want to make a few more videos about this uh, news story or this shooting. Um, it's very tragic. And it's not even about, you know, black white whatever anytime someone's killed you know it, it, it's 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 I, I think we as um human beings should all come together and uh you know and fight and fight against oppression whatever because it's not just a black or a white thing or whatever it's it's a people thing for real. all lives matter and um oh yeah and by the way uh the guy's funeral is today so if i find any kind of like uh fundraiser for like you know his family i'm gonna post that in the links below if you guys can donate something to him 
um, or to his family. I mean, I'll, I'll, if I'll try to find that, I'll post that in the description. So have a nice day. Um, thanks for watching and be safe out there.